Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Ching, 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 ching. As far as rod maintenance, rod building goes, we've got a product called Winds Grips. It's a non-slip grip. They use it on squash uh, rackets, tennis rackets, golf clubs, stuff like that. Okay, so basically what it looks like is that. So now you'll get them in uh, 44 inch length, which is that one there, or 96 inch length, which is the longer one. They're 1.1 mil thick, so it's quite thin. Ideal for lighter, thinner rods. Uh, guys, you wrap it on, spiral it around. It is very, very simple to do it yourself. Obviously, if you can't do it, come to Kingfisher and we'll do it for you. Wind grip come in a huge variety of color and styles. To give you an example of what it looks like, on a completed rod, that is what the wind grip actually looks like, guys. So it's very comfortable and it's so easy to do yourself. Guys, EVA is basically a high density foam that we utilize for our rods. Uh, depending on the diameter that you're looking for, the length normally is about 600 um, lengthwise. They don't normally come longer than that. But yeah, EVA, it's a lot more comfortable for your hands. Uh, Non-slip as well, which is ideal for fishing long hours. Easy to clean and maintain. And yeah, guys, EVA, if you're gonna build your own rods, we do sell a wide range. If you need rods repaired, of course the Kingfisher does most of them as well. So EVA, very quick, very easy. Come to the Kingfisher and we'll sort you out. At the Kingfisher, obviously we do a lot of rod binding. In other words, ours, uh, four grips, the top part of it, the bottom part of it. We've got a huge variety. Um, all metallic or again mono um, uh, binding, black, yellow, green, whatever you want. Just to give you an idea, this is where the range starts. We've got green, we've got brown, we've got silver, we've got light blue, dark blue. And we basically go all the way through the range. Um, guys, we will match 99% of the rods out there. Okay, so very easy. If you've got a rod that needs binding, we carry the binding cotton for it. If you want to do it yourself, or if you want us to do it for you. Come and see us at the Kingfisher and we will sort it out. So now, once you've bound your actual uh, rod guards on, you need to seal the actual thread. So here we go, we've got our flexi coat sealant. Um, it basically seals the thread doesn't allow water or moisture in, it won't fade after time. So once you've done your guides, we put a little bit of this on in the rod workshop to prevent any fading of the actual cottons through UV uh, exposure and that. Okay, so that's our flexi coat uh, sealant. Also, when it comes to rods, um, varnishing a rod changes the color completely, especially the old fiberglass rods. It gives it that high gloss high definition, uh, glossy look to it. Kingfisher sell the varnish for it as well, guys. So we can either do it or they can do it at the Kingfisher for you. Okay, so once you've actually bound your guides on and you've put the color preserver, the next step to your rod building process would be basically flexi coat. So it's a two um, prong system that they use. So you get two chemicals, or two tubes, you mix the two together 50-50 and you take your paintbrush and you paint it over your rod binding. That'll give you that high build uh, um, look to it or that glossy finish at the end. It will protect it obviously, so if you rub it against the rock you're not going to damage your threads. That's your high build. This is the epoxy version of it as well. Guys, we sell both of them here at the Kingfisher. This is what we use in our rod workshop. 
There we go. At the Kingfisher, we obviously sell winches. We've got a wide variety of different winches, whether it be clip-on winches, trigger winches for bait casters or for multipliers, as well as grinders. So, yeah, up locking, down locking, it's up to you. Um, we do the Fuji range, as you can see here, we do DPSs, graphite winches. We do a huge range of winches, all of them depending on the diameter that you're looking for. We also do a range of sliding winches as well. And don't forget, we do the bent butts, stand up uh, butts for big game fishing. We also sell butt caps, a very important uh, item that we use. Basically, it's the end part of the rod that we use that will protect it. So it is a rubber. So if you bounce your rod down on the ground, it doesn't damage the actual rod. And obviously, uh, for rubbing purposes inside your actual fishing bucket. Yeah, but caps, guys, very important part of your rod. Okay guys, another very important item that we sell here for our big game uh, fishing is our bent butts, um, the Pacific Bay bent butts and stand up butts for the big 50 pound outfits, 130 pound outfits, bent butts obviously. So that's just another winch system that we actually do here at the Kingfisher. Guys at the Kingfisher we do a wide range of guides. Um, for instance, our fly fishing guides, which is a hard chrome stainless steel snake guide. That's it there. As you can see on our rods, our fly rods, we utilize them all the time. We also do a thing called a hook keeper, which is basically just a little U-shaped hard chrome stainless steel, which your fly will go onto, your lure will go onto. We sell them here at the Kingfisher, so give us a call for that one. Guys, we do a huge range of roller guides for our ski boat anglers. Um, obviously, they'll come in chrome, black chrome. We do the roller tips. We also do the swivel tip, which is now a new thing that we use for our electric reels. Again, it comes in black chrome or in chrome itself, silver chrome. It's got a ceramic insert and it's basically designed so that the guide actually swivels from side to side ideal for electric reels guys we do the double foot roller guide with a double insert or the single one and again it's for our 50 pound 130 pound 80 pound outfits our boat trawling rods so there they are, they rotate on the inside. Like I said, you get them in black, you get them in chrome. Another guide that we've had for a very, very long time is our NOG. Uh, it's a chrome finish with an oxide insert. It's a very hard guide. We've had them for years, they work extremely well and we still got stock of them, guys. Okay, the NOGs come in a size six to a size 40. And obviously we have the tip guides to suit those rods as well. So it's a wide range from the smallest being a size six to a size 40, which is very, very big, guys. Okay, we've got our anti-tangle free guides, which are KWAGs. They are Fuji guides. Guys, it's an aluminum oxide frame um, with an alkanite insert. It's a deep press guide. In other words, the frame is on the actual back and the it's pressed in that way. So when your leader comes, it actually hits against it and deflects out. It cannot push this guard out. That is what is so important with it. When we're using our heavy leaders, it hits against the al alkanite over here and basically it won't pop out. That's what makes this guard so much better, so much lighter and so much stronger. Ideal for braid fishing. Okay, the KWAG, this one that I'm talking about at the moment, is a high frame guide. In other words, it's quite high um, off of your rod. Okay, so very important, that's the high framed guide. This is the CCMNOG, which is the low framed uh, guide. And again, it's a deep pressed guide, silver finish, it's a Fuji guide. And again, it's a deep pressed guide. Okay, so that's the lower one. It sits lower on the actual rod. As you go up your guard, up your tip of your rod, the guard needs to be closer and closer to the actual guard. 
And there we go. This is the MNAT guide, um, Alkanite insert, um, ideal for the K-series guides, the KWAGs and that. It has a whipping uh, foot on it, that back part. So basically, the, the blank will go in and you can bind around that part of it. Just adds to the strength of the guide. It's lightweight, it's strong, they work extremely well. Just an extra binding adds so much more to your actual guide and it looks good too. Guys, this is the GOT guide. And again, it's one of those anti-tangle free tips. Alkanite insert. It does not have a foot for binding. So this one, you'll just put your shellac in it, stick it straight on and you're good to go. Okay, cheaper alternative, just a strong uh, anti-tangle free like I said before. Very, very good for lighter spinning rods. Guys, this is the CSV4CG. It's a stainless steel guide, single foot, and you get them in double foot as well. It's a Pacific Bay guide. It's manufactured out of um, SS304 stainless steel. It's very, very flexible. Ideal for spinning rods. Okay, very lightweight. It is braid friendly as well. So there we go guys. Pack Bay CSV4CG. Okay, this is a CP4CT. Basically again, it is the complement to the last guy that I just spoke about. It is a stainless steel SS304 stainless steel guide. Obviously black in color, Pack Bay manufacture it. Um, it's a high impact guide, which is ideal if you're going to be winding swivels through the guides and that. Braid friendly, very, very strong, very, very flexible, guys. Guys, I've got the BPTT here in my fingers at the moment. That's a tip guide. It's got a hollow insert. It goes from a 1.8 all the way down to a 4 mil. Um, we've used it for years. It's been around and we carry on using it. It is a good, trusty guide um, as far as tip guides go. Guys, this is a BSVHG. It's a holloy insert. It's a one-piece stamped frame and it works well with a BPTT tip. Um, they go well together. It's a lightweight spinning kind of a guide. And like I said before, it's a single foot, very flexible, Ideal for bass fishing, ultralight spinning. That's the kind of guide that you're looking for. Guys, it's available from a size 6 to a size 30, which is quite a big uh, um, OD. There we go. Okay, guys, this is the SCT, and you get the SCG. SCT are the tips, SCG are the actual um, double foot ones that you get. Uh, ceramic insert with a plastic uh, shock ring. It is uh, basically a chromed guide. We've used them for years. Um, since Paul fell off the bus, they're still around and they work. Guys, so all those old rods that you need rebound, we do carry the guides for it still. And just to let you know, we carry the tip guide from a 2.8 to a 6.8. 6.8 being very, very thick. The SCGs, we carry in a range from a size uh, 8 all the way to a size 40. One of our popular ones for our boat fishing uh, fraternity are our BHGs, which are these ones here. Then you get the tip section, which is a BHT. Okay, T meaning tip. So our BHG, double foot, heavy duty frame uh, with an alloy insert. Uh, just for better heat dispersion. These are what we fit to all our Kingfisher boat rods, guys. So if you need any of your rods to be refurbished again, we do it here at the Kingfisher. We've got the guides if you'd like to do it yourself. Okay, guys, another one of our boat guides that we use and the old rock and surf was the XBBG guides. It is a stainless steel frame, hard chrome, um, ideal for, like I said, boat rods, rock and surf rods in the old days. 
It has no insert whatsoever. It is available from a size 6 all the way to a size 30. And the tips are WBBTs. We sell the FlexiCoat uh, guide uh, adhesive. Basically what happens is if your tip guide comes off, this is the FlexiCoat. You take a lighter, you take your guide, you melt the flexi coat, drop it into the actual guide itself, or you can cut a little sliver off, stick it in, heat the guide up, and you just push it onto your um, rod tip, maneuver it so it is in line, and leave it to dry. It takes about 30 seconds to dry, so it's very quick and easy. That is our flexi coat adhesive.